Hey guys, welcome back to the internet. I'm your host, 5 out of 8 players, and we're going to do an in the queue draft. All right, 7 of 8. Please, can we? <laughs> I like when people speak in broken, fragmented sentences. I like when my friends uh, send me text messages, like, like the way William Shatner talks. Like, they'll be like, hey... I was thinking, what if we went to the store on Saturday? And I'm like, this is really six messages. You can send me one. And then I, you know, I don't get inundated with six different, different dings. And, uh, well, there's no illusions, nor is there a donate. Tolarian Academy has got to be one of the most powerful cards in this pack. Solemn Simulacrum, a pretty, pretty reasonable gentleman. Hmm. Are there enough equipment for Pure Steel Paladin to be a dude? To be good? To be a, a good dude? Millstone. Boy, is that fascinating. Yeah, that's definitely how you message me all the time. Uh, sometimes I'm like... Sometimes you'll send me messages and I won't even check them until there's like five of them. Because I'm like, well, I'll wait till he's done. Omen speaker? Buddy. Buddy. This is an M19, you know. This is a, this is a cube. I'm probably going to take this Solemn Simulacrum here. Maybe it's just Talarian Academy, actually. What about Aeon Chronicler? That's an interesting... It's got to be Academy. Like, if we miss a Solemn Simulacrum but we pass an Academy, I'm going to feel real stupid. However, if we don't get any good enough artifacts for this, I'm also going to feel real stupid, so... However, if I just draft normally... I'm probably still gonna feel stupid, so you guys, you guys get the, uh, you guys get the general theme that's going on here. Trinket Mage could be good if we're Talarian Academying, but I don't know what else is Trinket Mageable in this cube. In this cube of getting Junior, I really like Decree of Justice. It's like Secure the Wastes, only you draw a card instead. It's refreshing. Um, there you go, Undrum Tuna with the with the pickup there. I'm gonna take the Decree of Justice. I just like it better. I think it's a better card. Voltaic key. Am I right in thinking that there's a time vault in this cube? I don't know what's in this cube. Oh, that's good. Nice and loud. Can you guys hear that? Full card list. There are no time vaults in this cube. Okay, that's weird. Then Voltaic Key seems pretty terrible. Vampiric Tutor, on the other hand, seems pretty good. So does Venser. So does Why Like Wingmate wrong. I'm going to take the Vampiric Tutor. That seems pretty strong. I wonder how many... I want to put you over here, because let's be real, you're probably not great. I wonder if we can just zombie it up. Is this real enough to zombie it up? He's real aggressive. Hmm. It might just be Thoughtseize. Could be Lightning Greaves. I don't know what we're going to Greaves into, but... Keeps us open. Oh, boy. This is very strange. I'm going to take the Greaves, and I'm admitting it's not the best card. Oh, boy. We did it. What did we do? I don't know. Draft a Sphinx's Revelation. That's really what I want. I'm going to take Sphinx. You missed Den Protector? God, of all the cards in the, in the Magic lexicon den protector is not one of them that i miss greatly <laughs> i mean if anything i miss eternal witness more than i miss uh den protector because that's a uh, a good card whereas den protector is kind of kind of terrible it's just it's just kind of hot garbage let's be real 
We tried a debtor's knell earlier. Maybe we tried a debtor's knell again. That was not some good days. Maybe it was good days. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. I think this pack is pretty terrible. I'm going to take the debtor's knell and assume that we can do it. Do it. Do it. We just drafted black white today. Are we going to really draft black white again? I guess we drafted Mardu. Now we can draft Esper. Ooh, Esper. Ooh. We're clearly heavy blue and we're clearly heavy white. We can splash an Utter End. We could just take Maloku, but I don't think Maloku is great. We could also just play Mana Scythe and get him. I love hot garbage, but it's got to be hot. Nothing but the hottest of garbage for me, good sir. And I'll just take Utter End. Utter End, like a cow. Godless Shrine, right where I want to be. Supreme Verdict, probably pretty good with a Debtor's Knell. I'm going to take Supreme Verdict. This seems ambitious. I'm going to put these guys over here. Before we get to the second pack, I'd like to just make sure that we point out to all the, uh, the haters in the YouTube comments that we are trying to experiment with this cube and have a little fun so if you think i took a uh objectively poor pick don't care and uh i just want to acknowledge this so that you think you're not next leveling me so that you don't think you're next so you think you're not next leveling me. english is hard too man hi hey, uh, trigger mage could be good let's us i mean it's not i don't think it's transgress here I'll trigger mage. Get him, YouTube. Get him. I'll take this. I don't think it's good, but I have literally no idea what I'll take he is used for in this cube. I would like to know the deck that had that had a Voltaic key in it. Voice of... Oh, Azorius Charm. Oh, that's pretty good. So I think we're just blue-white control and we're splashing black for, like, a couple cuties. Does anyone else... I have I don't I can't actually tell if you're being serious or not, Tiger Knight. Uh, Muldrifter seems wonderful. So does Hollowed Fountain, though. Dang. Wow, there are like five Birds of Paradise in this draft. That's amazing, dude. I'm going to take... I assume you guys are just kidding because you obviously know me very well. And chase the Mind Sculptor? And an Ancient Tomb? What did they take over Jace and Ancient Tomb? Yeah, I'm going to assume you guys are joking because you guys are both uh, longtime subscribers. And you are very familiar with how I play Magic. What sound do you think the Ragavan picture makes? <laughs> Kind of like that, probably. Like a. I mean, even if you're not blue, just take the ancient tomb, right? I was tempted to take the ancient tomb. Nobody tokes like prime time. That guy tokes real hard. If you know what I mean, we get a prime time. You vape. Loki, that was 18 years ago, buddy. Someone donate some Ragavan bits. Boy. 
Boy, this trigger mage is a lot better when we have artifacts to get. Well, but Frank, you have a voltaic key. It's right there in your sideboard. That's one bad river. It's probably bad river, which is Jesus, the poor man's. It gets Gala Shrine and Hollowed Fountain. It's the poor man's flooded strand. Oh, 10 monkey noise bits. I like this volcanic island too, but we're not red, so. I'm going to take the bad river. Actually, Factor Fiction's real good. We have Jace, so. And we have Sphinx's Rev. Summoner's Lacey, come on. What is that? What I have no idea what you're saying right now. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I like that it replaced Pack with Lacey. The old Summoner's Lacey. Oh, I, I got excited about the Steam events, and I was like, oh, wait, we're not red. And then I saw the, the, the Delta, and I was like, oh, I can get excited again. Yeah, I'm just going to take Delta here. Our mana seems like it needs some double white, triple black white, double blue white, double white blue, double blue, black, 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 black. I think I just, I think I just had a mild stroke there, so apologies if you guys were having to deal with that. Caves of Coilus is good because it's both of our colors. Scalding Tarn might be better because it can get a hollowed fountain. And if we get uh, any sort of blue black fetch land. Shock land. Regular land. Or we could just take one of these two removal spells. Or we could take this eight mana Cognivore. Black band. Um, at worst, this gets a blue. At best, it gets a hollowed fountain. We have two fetches already. I probably just want the caves. We only have nine picks right now, though. It might be important to take, like, a black card. Nope, took a caves. Oh, I like a Torrential Gear Hulk here. But I like a Watery Grave better. Hmm, that's awkward, isn't it? Watery Grave is great because it fills out the triple triple fetch lands. Triple chalky chocks. Did you learn everything you know about MTG play from Frank Mike? I am... Wait. For, wait, I can't tell if there's supposed to be a comma there. Are you referring to Frank Mike? Which is now... There are different variations of Frank... I don't understand what's going on. I'm very confused. It's either Gear Hulk, which seems good with uh, Utter End. Yeah, we're going to take the Gear Hulk here. Oh, Confiscate seems fantastic. I like Hero's Downfall, though. No, I think Confiscate's probably better. And Hero's Downfall's double black, which I'm not super interested in having. Night Veil Spectre could be very good. Huh. I wonder if Wall of Reverence is just good enough. It's due to power, right? Yeah, so you gain a life each turn, but if I have like a Gear Hulk, I gain five. Worn Power Stone. Wow. No one wanted that Worn Power Stone? Gilded Lotus. Oh, look, Summoner's Lacey. That's your favorite, Lacey. I wonder if Gemstone Mine is playable. If we get an Urborg, I think it is. Thirst for Knowledge. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, my dog's named Pig. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> we are all chat. In death, we are all mics. We are all chat, Mike. I love him. Uh, I've become Mike. His name is Mike. In death, we have a name. His name was Mike. His name was Mike Mike. Whatever. I'll take this Cognivore and never play it. That's Savannah Lions, though. Darksteel Citadel? That's actually might be worth playing just for the Trinket Mage. Go Trinket Mage up a, a, a land, and then it just becomes a blue Civic Wayfinder. However, if we get the... Um, 
Blue or white artifact land. I will definitely... Oh, Tundra. Got real excited about this Tundra. Definitely taking a Tundra. Because I don't think it's Outpost. I don't think it's... Ruinous Path is good, but we're not trying to be double blacking here. I do regret not taking the Water Grave, but I don't regret taking the uh, Torrential Girl over it, especially because we have a lot of good targets for it. Gideon Jura is actually very, very good in this cube. Shambling Vent also pretty okay. I think we'll have the Gideon Jura. It actually fits nicely on this curve. What do we have? These three and a Vampiric Tutor for Torrential Gear Hulk so far. I mean, there's not a ton of targets, but it is. these are all powerful enough to warrant a Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. I could be. We could make an excuse for the charm. Make an argument for the charm, rather, but I don't... I don't think off-color charm is really where we want to be here. This guy was great. Do you guys remember this? Where you'd cast this guy for seven and draw three when it came into play. If, if you don't kick it, you just still draw, you still you like loot three. I like Obnixus a lot, and it might be worth splashing this guy. I think it is, because I think Planeswalker is really powerful in this cube. Jace Bellerin. I think Prismatic Lens is actually great here. Uh, I can see taking Jace Bellerin, but we have a lot of three drops already. And this does kind of fix our mana. It costs one more, so like we need Supreme Murder for five or whatever, but... Thran Dynamo I don't love because three colorless is not really where we want to be when we already have Worn Power Stone. Plus we have one two drop so far, so I'm really not looking forward to making... Oh, Demir Signet's actual perfect. That's amazing. It helps us cast Night Veil Spectre. It's also a single black for uh, Obnixilus, which is nice. I mean, I could see cutting Trinket Mage if we don't have another... Like, Voltaic Key, what does that even do? Untap Worn Power Stone, so we net one mana. I guess it untaps Gilded Lotus. I mean, those are pretty unexciting, though. Tamio Reprisal. I think Ultimate Price is probably just good. It's probably better than Reprisal, right? I'm going to have to assume it's better than Reprisal. Tamio could have also been good. Um, I don't think we want another 5 drop. I think we do want another 2 drop, though. This guy, so this guy costs 5 mana in total to destroy an enchantment for a 1-4. Eh. I don't hate Endless One. I really don't like Endless One either. I'll take Longbow Archer. We need like 3 more playables. Chainer's Edict is good. I think Jareth could be a playable in this deck. I think we saw how powerful Jareth was last game, right? Last draft, I should say. I could pick Time Spiral, but we actually don't have we don't we can't really combo with it, so we're just giving our opponent a bunch of a bunch of cards. And this actually explains why it's going so late. I don't think it's great in this. I think Jareth is actually super strong. And we can also if we get it in the graveyard, we can Deader's Nell it. I don't think we're going to take double double black him. I could see taking Chainer's Edict. I'm going to take Chainer's Edict. <laughs> Anniversary ring. Oh, boy. Uh, we got double black Ruinous Path here. I think the effect on Ruinous Path is worth it, though. And I also think our mana is pretty good, so whatever. We'll make a... I'll take Trinket Mage out. He has nothing to do. I could just see playing a Boros Signet. I could also see playing a Disfigure. I don't think... We have three creatures in our deck? Wow. We're really banking on Debtor's Knell and Decree of Justice to win these games. And Confiscate and Gideon Jura, I guess. I'll take a Disfigure, because we're clearly a control deck through and through now. I'm going to get a blue creature back. We actually have, like... Meh. I'll take it, but I'm not going to love it. Sarah Angel. Sure. Yeah, I think this deck looks fine. 
In addition to creatures, uh, these guys can also act as win conditions. One of our creatures does happen to be a wall of reverence, which is pretty comical. The reprisal. Interesting. Actually, I might play that over the disfigure. I don't hate that. That's just a nice way to deal with artifacts, problematic artifacts. We can also steal one of their... Um, what do you call it? Things. Wind conditions. McGimp, what's going on? First pick, not not even making the cut. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, one of my first impressions of the cube, pretty good. I think this cube has been fun so far. So let's actually sort by color. Add basics. We actually ended up playing more black cards than the other cards. That's actually pretty funny. So I think it's going to be a pretty even split, right? Tundra, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is ten white sources. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine, nine. Ten, eleven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, seven black sources. Let me actually look at the eleven, eleven, eight. So black is still our, our least represented. Okay, that's good to know. So we can go one, two, one, two, and this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that seems good. Done. Ice cream sales go today, four hundred dollars. Ice cream sales, one hundred sixty. Oh, that's rough, dude. Nonetheless, though, I think you're gonna do fine. It's still summer and it's still hot. Hot. This hand seems great. Great! We can get a white source. We can play this on two, this on three, this on four. No, we're not playing it. Come on, don't be ridiculous, Magic Online. Honestly, dude, I don't even... Even past November, I still go to places like Rita's or DQ every so often just because I don't care about... I think a lot of people don't care about temperature just because of... Uh, uh, we gotta get a white source. Double black. We don't have a double white. We don't have a double blue. Th Wait. We want two black, though, for Ob. So we're probably just getting Godless Shrine. And then next turn we can s cast Night Veil Spectre. <laughs> of course we're playing Esper and they're playing Red Green. I say this because it's funny uh, that we won't be able to cast any of their spells other than lands. <sighs> oh, yeah. I can see it definitely not being worth it, though. That makes sense, Matt. Matthew Ori, do you prefer going by Matt or Matthew? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
any land and we get to play Ob. We can also Azorius Charm this guy. We're definitely not blocking here. I think we're just actually going to play Thirst and Azorius Charm here. Can we do that? Nope, we need two blue sources. We can play Ob and draw a card, but I don't really love that. But we also played a land first before attacking, so... Maybe I'll just... Yeah, I can just call you Ori. What's up, Ori? That's I prefer Ort. <laughs> I'll just call you Ort. Well, hey, what up, Ort? So we go white, blue. Yeah, we don't have this stupid thing. Oh, what's Ligma? <laughs> so you go to six, three, four, five, six. That's not ideal. If we kill you, we go to two and we can just chump block. That's not great either. Now we're definitely gonna gonna attack with this guy. We can take some damage here. A mountain. That's nice because we definitely have a land to play next turn if they don't do anything. Elk Tears, do you actually prefer Matthew? That's such a mouthful. Who has time to say Matthew? I'd be like, yo, Matt. It's so much quicker than, hey, Matthew. Excuse me, Matthew. Let me use every part of my mouth to say this word. Matthew. Good Lord. Who's got the time? I got places to be, man. Oh, don't be a don't be a Inferno Titan. That's all I just just don't be an Inferno Titan. Ain't a big deal. Oh, they changed their mind. Jesus had time. <laughs> Matthew Ori, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. It seems like you've gotten funnier in the past like year or so. Nah, no blocks, it's fine. Really? You're not going to use that energy? Man, get out of here with this guy then. Where my supreme verdict at? Let's play a land for free. That's a freebie, boy. So if we, we can make three dudes with Decree of Justice... Oh, it, yeah. oh, it's easy to say, Matthew, with this simple trick. You'll never believe number four. Jesus had time. <laughs> it's pretty good. How do you know? Jesus could have called him Matt. Hey, yo, Matt. That's my apostle, Matt. Oh. I guess we can actually attack here. I don't. Are we going to block, though? God, this guy's such a piece of garbage. This guy didn't have reach, right? They always have reach. These stupid green creatures are just like, Hey, I have a reach! Hoo! I can actually put this guy into play. One, two, three. Make three dues. I think we can just take six here. We can also just play this guy for three. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. We're going to cycle Decree of Justice here. For three gentlemen. Now we're probably just going to block here. We'll cycle you. Do you see how fast I was? I was like... And we get to draw a card? My god, this card is bonkers. Actually, we could triple block here. I don't love that, though. Lightning Greaves. Okay. Grievous. They don't have any lands, which is interesting. And we get to hit a Lightning Greaves. I like Oracle. Oh, they do have a land. My bad. Oh, two lands. Oh, they're going to shuffle? 
Shuffle now so I can get a different card. Oh, dang it. They didn't shuffle now. I couldn't get a different card. <gasps> this guy's better than all. Jason Mind Sculptor, better than all. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So I'm pretty sure we do a thing where he's able to double block here. Or we can actually play this gentleman. Steal your grievies. We cannot play Jace and... I guess we can Thirst for Knowledge. Doomsday, thank you for three months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my brother. Man, we were at 372 when I ended the stream today. Six subs gone. Six bit the dust. One, two, three, four, five. David, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, that guy was something else, man. Jesus. What a way to live your life. I'm going to triple block here, but I'm really kind of... Oh, good to hear, Big Tuna. What up, Big Tuna? That's a, that's a, that's a solid office meme, just so you know. Oh, we have so many things to do. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know, man. You sent me the friend request, buddy. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. You are literally a nobody who reached out to me to be your friend. I I have no idea where you... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't understand how the irony is not lost on you. Green. Make a green. Put a little bear into play. I'm going to hold on to this swamp in case we... Actually, let's thirst now. Let me get some... Give me a stupid... I don't think we have any other artifacts, so we're going to have to discard some things. I want to keep the island. I think we can get rid of Vampiric Tutor and Swamp. Play the island. Our hand is pretty stacked. We just have to survive a turn to cast things. Like, I'm very okay blocking here because this guy has trample, or this guy has shroud, so they can't actually pump it. Uh, we know they're drawing Greaves. Ruin Blaster. But they have wooded foothills on top. Oh, that guy. Oh, man, he plays at your local shop. That's hilarious, dude. Somebody was missing time paying for thefts that should just dump on problems on a front row. <laughs> wow. I mean, that should give you some idea of where you are in life if you're like... Okay, so hold on. They're searching for a land. Let's see if this Rune Blaster moves. Are you guys ready? It moved. That's amazing. It moved. Okay, so they're shuffling again. Let's see if it moves now. It'll move again. Chandra. So now you have Greaves in hand. And that's pretty much all we know. Okay, you have Greaves and one other card. None of these things are super impressive. No card. Oh, do we get to hit this Chandra? Oh, that's pretty sick. We're going to keep this guy alive then. It only stays the same. Oh, look at this. This is an aggressive... All right, we're gonna block here, double block here, and we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're gonna go to two, and we're just gonna hope you don't have a two mana burn spell. You guys ready? We go to two, we get to keep Sphinx's Rev. Elk Tears, Matthew, 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 hmm, Athu. These are all very good. All right, go to two. Oh boy. Cool. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna bring in the disfigure. Literally the last card in your hand. Oh, we actually had Gilded Lotus, Worn Power Stone, Demir Signal. We had actually tons of other artifacts in our like, Torrential Gear Hulk. Come 
kind of uh, disgusting. <sighs> That's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, this hand seems good. Slow and low, that is the tempo. Well, it's running draw Supreme Verdict because we have a wall of reverence, but that might be okay. I was going to make a rhyme, but I'm tired. Here's some bits. Zach, sir, thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. And yeah, we're just going to play. Wall of Reverence now. My only problem is, I think Kodama of the North Tree is actually just a real scumbag. I mean, it's nice because you're able to, uh, you know, ec infinite block him, and usually you're pretty safe with that. But the problem is that, like, it's th like they, they can still kill one of your guys in response. It's still just a very big, un, un -deal, deal withable dude. I don't know if I like Shroud Guys in cube. Like, usually you make a cube to, like, perfect a format, right? You're going to put the best cards in here. You're going to make it the best uh, possible magic, right? But then you put in things like Kodama of the Butt Tree. One Night Boy Doubloon. Neon Tokyo Rain. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> that's, that's a good gif. That's a good, that's a nice meme you did there. We killed that immediately because I don't feel like you having a second creature for Rishkar, and I also don't feel like you, uh... Yep. Like you do. Oh, cool. I have a Confiscate and a Reprisal. Ha <laughs> ha! I think you just first picks this, pick this guy, right, right, in the future? Like, that's just what you do now because it's unbeatable? If you're really feeling bad, I've got a lot more of those. <laughs> nice. I think I'm okay. Five religious chat didn't end in bloodshed and tears, Bucks. That is a positive. I'm glad we're uh, I'm glad we're celebrating that. Matthew Ward, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Along with your existence, I appreciate your existence, Matt uh, Ort, Mister Ort. Play something big. Okay, that's not big at all. I I just want to confiscate something. I wish this wall of reverence was a one seven. At least then it lines up well with Konama of the North Tree. Hmm. Yep. Well, we are definitely going to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three is not ideal, but we got to get somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we had eight mana here, we can go Utter End one, Chainer's uh, Reprisal. The oh, we can't Reprisal any of them, actually. I guess we can steal this guy, and then we have an easy blocker. It's not ideal, let's be honest, but... Nope, we're going to steal the Rishkar. Seven, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. At least we also gained three life here. Which is not nothing. Lucky, 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 lucky. So lucky. Ah. Woke up, got out of bed, I dragged her home. I, wow, no beats. Woo, aggressive, buddy. That aggression, though. I found my way downstairs and drank a cup. That Kodama the North Tree is just not a fun card to play against. And looking up, I noticed I was like, grab my coat and grab my hat. If they have, like, incinerate, they just incinerate the Rish car and we take a million. I 
I think this is actually okay. I mean, that's a pretty decent two for one. Oh my god. They're just making sure this reprisal will never work. Yeah. Okay, so now we're actually reasonable, I think. Because we can tutor for a supreme verdict. Grab my coat and grab my hat. Made the bus in seconds flat. Man, second 03. That's pretty rough, dude. Now we have to decide whether we want a reprisal, the Raging Ravine, or the Heart of Kirin. I don't know. Both are hard to deal with. Yikes. Oh, the Mackenzie. Do 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 One, two, three, four. Kill them all. Put, 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 put them in the trash can. T -t trash can. Man. Oh, we're having a good time. Boy, oh boy, ho huh? I feel like our deck is good, but I say this all the time. I guess I guess I try not to draft bad decks. So typically, whenever I draft a deck, I'm like, eh, I made a lot of good choices. It seems good. Kitty Cat was looking over there, and I'm like, what are you looking at, Kitty Cat? That's nice, because now they uh, they can't attack with the old Blood Braid Elferino. Being able to get rid of Rabble Master is pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have three, four, five, six. Oh, God. I guess we could try to hit a land. One, two, we don't have one, two, three, four, five, Lotus. One, two, three, four, five, Obnixilis. Oh, we actually have to do this, don't we? Yep, all right, so I guess we're dead if they hit a creature that can crew. <sighs> just don't have a three power creature. Okay. Oh, they could also just have the incinerate that Yep, never, never don't have it. Never don't have it. Don't have it. Stroke of Gene, stroke of stoke, stroke, the, stoke the flames. Stroke the flames. <sighs> What's going on here? Convoking. Oh, you're stoking. Why don't you just? Why did? Why don't you just pay the mana? <laughs> like. Oh, God. <laughs> I will convoke my heart of Kirin. All right, buddy. Cool. <laughs> like, why can't you just tap the man and kill me? Why do you have to be all fancy about it?
Like, I don't know. I Maybe maybe Chainer's Edict was just better there. Like, I forgot the guy had Shroud, so I was going to actually kill them with the Obnixilis. But, I mean, we're at 7, and they have a Heart of Kieran and a uh, other gentleman on the board. Bloodbraid Elf. So, I mean, our odds of not getting forward out. Can I read my last comment? It's important. I actually, yes, I did read that actually. What's, why is that important, Matthew? Ari? I think our definitions of important differ. I kind of just want to get a Tundra with this Vampiric Tutor, to be quite honest. I think a turn three Jace is pretty important. It doesn't feel good, but. Like, we have to do a second blue. And it can't be like a bat. Yeah, we're just going to do it. It's very, very, it's very important, guys. Guys, it's very important. Gonna get a tundra. Do, 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 Lives in a dream. All the lovely stoke the flames. I mean, cheese doodles all day. Matt, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Ori. You can sell ice cream if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't sell ice cream... If they don't sell ice cream, well, they're no friends of mine, okay? They can go where they want to. Zumba doop doop zuba dee doo. I'm pretty sure we want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you don't have blood braid elf in hand. That's gonna be my assumption. Hey, David, did you try to... Oh, all right. God, Oracle of Moldias all day. Oh, I'm going to play my Blood River off the top of the deck. Oh, planes? What is this shenanigans you're doing here? What is this ridiculousness you're doing? You can go where you want to. You can... The problem is, even if we kill these guys, they still have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. It's a lot. I am tempted to Supreme Verdict here. The problem is none of these guys are very scary. Actually, I kind of like... I kind of like Obnixilis and just kill this Oracle of Moldiah. That actually puts us in pretty sweet shape, I think. I'm gonna go... Top. Top. I think by brainstorming, I'm also sending a message. It's that I want more cards than you. What up, Bob's Clerk? Uh, you're going to draw planes. Unless you... Interestingly... You did not search during upkeep, so you are going to draw that planes. You're going to pop it right down into play right now. Put the planes into play. Put it into play. Put it into play. Put it into planes. Put it into planes. All right, you're searching that bad river with the vulture on it. I got you. Oh, a tundra. I too have a tundra, my friend. Are you playing two drafts? Probably not. It's probably just going to be this. It's, it's going to be the old one and done. One and done. One or I just wanted to. I just wanted to do another one because we only had time for one earlier, and that made me feel bad. Bane Slayer. Okay, so you did play the planes. Seems good. Can I just bounce that? Look at all the card advantage you have on the board. See, as long as I don't see Kodama of the North Tree, our deck is like... Rolling along. Rolling along. Singing a song. I am... I do 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 do. Yeah, you're getting bounced. One, two, three, four, five. We can play Lotus and Hollowed Fountain untapped. 
or tapped, and we can just play a Guild of Lows. You know, a counter spell. I'm not sure if we're terrified of anything this turn. God, pl something like Planar Cleansing would be freaking ridiculous, right? I'm angry again. <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori. We're going to do this and hope it's not like untapped planar cleansing because then I would literally cry. I would probably just cut the stream off immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 mana. We can hard cast an Ulamog right now. That seems good for turn six. Matthew Ori can dance if he wants to. He can leave Matthew Ori's behind. Because Matthew Ori don't dance, and if he don't dance well, Matthew Ori's no friend of mine. Urza's Factory, that's a good land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, crap. I'm so terrified right now. Nulamog or Oldamog? Both a mog. Oh, oh. Cringe. Oh, the cringiest, dude. Oh my god. Don't make me start drawing one card a turn like a like a pleb. God, this is so many lands. I'm probably just going to cycle this. All right, put Ob down to two, but we kind of need Ob alive, so... Never gonna lose it. Gonna have a choose it and a, and a victory dance. So you can dance if you want to. You can keep Bob Nixilis. Because your Ob don't nix and if he don't nix, well, it's Ob Nixilis. We have a Bane Slayer in hand. I don't know what else you have. God. S S S S A A A A F F F F E E E E T T T T Y Y Y Y. Save, 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 save. Dance, 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 dance. One, two, three, four, five. Bane Slario. Into. Play another dude. Don't be a Rex Sage. Rishkar. All right. This is probably worth board wipage. I'm pretty sure recycling this. It seems weird. But that's life. It's just going to be a land. Here's a planes for you, idiot. <laughs> okay, an island. Crack you immediately. I don't need you to be giving me more lands. Take another island. It's my night veil specter. White, white, blue. I guess we'll see what we draw first, right? Boop! Classic. Alright, so triple white. Use this. Use one of the whites. Use blue. Actually, that doesn't matter. Oh, we'll use another white. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, so we can go Supreme Verdict. The white. Peace out. Play this dude with all of the colors that are available to us, and we'll just play a Godless Shrine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What does Verdict say? It says, destroy all creatures. This spell can't be countered. What do you say? What do you say, Mike? Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, I accept. Four lands? Christ, come on, dude. Six lands left in our deck. Whew, I hope they did worse than we did. And we can play two Planeswalkers, which is nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands, 14 mana. We can actually go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and still have 5 mana left over. Like, is it me, or do I just draw an excessively high number of lands? I really don't want to be biased. I really don't want to be like, God, I draw so many lands. I, I want to be realistic about it. If you guys say, like, no, this is a proportional number of lands to draw in a, in a, over, a, over a large sample size, I'll believe it, and I'll be like, okay, I understand. But it sure feels like it happens a lot. Now they have seven cards. They had one card, and now they have seven cards. We drew five, they drew six. But I was real comfortable with our board state compared to theirs, so. And now they get to play Kodama of the North Tree. God, Muldrifter? Do you need more cards? Now you're just being greedy. How were you only able to stick to three colors? It was not easy, my friend. Josh, it's rarely easy. Okay, both of these are fine. <laughs> Maybe you have more than nine mana, amateur. <laughs> oh, we still get to attack with Night Veil Spectre? Of course it was a swamp. Well, before we play a land, we're going to Night Veil Spectre. Boop. See, now we get a free land. Planes. Draw a card. Utter end. Um, draw the things, put the lands back. God, card draw, card draw, card draw. Card draw, card draw, card draw. Uh, one, two, three. This beefy boy. Please attack my Gideon Jura. There are four life. My god. One, two, three, four, five. So we can cast one of these things, not two. So I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Prismatic Lens. I honestly don't think Thirst is going to be that... Uh, vital to us. We have 18 cards and we have more cards than we can possibly... <laughs> Which laugh is creepy? So that I may repeat it. <laughs> is it that one? Because that's a good one. Maelstrom Pulse targeting Gideon Jarala. Deal. I cannot... I cannot handle this, so. God, I have seven cards in hand. Oh, biscuits. One at ob, two at ob. Well, I don't want to do this, but... Nope, that's not going to do it. It's not my idea of a good time. I'll counterspell. Bitching! Mm. Ob survives. Well then. Oh, well then. A winded birthday con <laughs> Like that? It's a little weird. It's a little coming to my van. Now they can't attack Gideon. How are you going to beat him now if you can't even attack him? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 15 mana in play. If we can just if we can just top deck an Emrakul, we can just hard cast that bad boy. <clears throat> uh 
Sylvan Caryatid. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. It's not the most impressive card you can play. So we know the other card's a land. Do we just start fate sealing them? They're at four life. Can we just kill? Has there any way to deal two damage here? Play this. Sack it. I don't even know if we have extra lands in our deck. Oh, we have to because we got a draw three. Put back two lands. I guess we're just going to draw the land. Having Gilded Lotus and Prismatic Lens in your deck is pretty good when you have Night Vale Spectre. Oh, dang. Well, you're definitely coming down. One, two. Yep. Use those bad boys. White, white, white. Use this. Use a white. Two, three, four. And tap white. Oh, could we have Ruinous Path and just kill them? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Gosh. I'm like, oh, well, we got to do a Ruinous Path. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, we can just kill them with that. Now they don't get to see it, though. So we actually win the battle. We have no counter spells. That's really sad. What if they go Time Spiral and we have Cognivore in play and then we just our Cognivore just goes to the graveyard? Whoops. See you later, Cognivore. Magic's hard. Destroyed her enchantment. They didn't really have any enchantments we cared about, right? I'm almost like... Sarah Angel is almost like a, f a, f a good card in the cube, right? Like, it's almost like a playable here. We only have 17 lands, right? It feels like we have less lands than that. Fewer lands. It feels like we have fewer lands than that. I actually like our deck. Of course you do. You drafted it, you stupid idiot. Yeah, but you can draft decks that, like, you don't like. You're like, eh, I don't really like this deck. That's totally reasonable, right? Well, at least I can... Oh, this hand is hot trash. Maybe I wanted to take out the uh, the reprisal. It actually seems kind of limiting. <laughs> Full tank game prismatic lens. Uh, I'm gonna bottom you. You're too you're too aggressive. I don't need that kind of I don't need that kind of aggression in my life. That's one bad river, guys. At least I can get the hot trash. Is that what I said? God, I think so. I swear sometimes I black out. Get that hot trash. So we need a second white and a second blue. So I'm pretty sure we're just grabbing a tundra here. The thing about Chainer's Edict is you never have to worry about uh, using it when they have their worst creature. You're like, oh, they got such a bad creature. I don't want a Chainer's Edict. The best part is that, like, they're always going to sack that creature if they have it in play. So you just play it and you just be like, all right, cool. Wow, didn't we shuffle this away? That's pretty good. I like that it came back now because now I'm at a point where, like, well, I can actually reasonably put this bad boy into play for, like, six or seven. Tuffy head, what's going on, buddy? Um, I've been enjoying it. Man, they missed two land drops so far. So magic being magic. Nope. Oh, no longer. Rishkar with no other dudes. I'm probably gonna kill that guy. Maybe I just play that. That seems pretty good. Boop. 
Next time we can make four one ones, or we can ruin his path with kicker. <laughs> kicker. All the abilities are the same. If it's a card that has a cost and then it costs more to do a different thing, that's just kicker. The different thing this time being uh, making a land a 4 4. Why have you not completely changed your streaming schedule to better accommodate my life? Uh, you didn't formally email and say, This is my preferred schedule. Please accommodate this. So I had no idea. Oh, I see. Well then. Oh my. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Oh my god, if we can decree next turn. Holy Jesus. <sighs> Just don't have like a Rex Sage. Oh my god, and treat the angels off the top. How many can you make? Show me the card. XX, one, two, so you can make three angels. Oh, actually, I can just cast Decree of Justice for like a million, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh, they make four, actually. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, that's a fair magic card. How many can I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Land is actually fine here. Sure, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four. So ten. I can make five. And if you have Maelstrom Pulse, we just win. I mean, not we don't win, but like... One, two... Actually, okay, so one, two, three for the, the kicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. X could be twelve, and then we'd have twenty-four damage. I'm actually tempted to just, just pass. And then attack them for lethal with Decree of Justice. That actually seems better, right? This is the casting cost. One, two, three. And so we make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We make twelve guys and they're all two twos. Yeah, I think that's a risk we're gonna take. I mean if they have Maelstrom Pulse, they're gonna kill the confiscate, I assume. Which makes our plan significantly worse. But we're gonna just have to brave the storm for one turn. Weather the storm, I should say. We're gonna weather the storm. They have two blockers. Yep, alright, so we're gonna do it. Cycle it. You can dance if you want to. You can leave the, those dudes behind. Making 12 dudes, they're all two twos, and then I get to draw a card. Matthew Ari, hope you're listening. You're gonna do a zoop doo doo. I'm gonna tutor just in case they have something that they want to do. What can we get? Probably a Supreme Verdict. I think that's... Actually, Sphinx's Revelation is pretty insane here. Yeah, that's fine. These gentlemen are coming to get you. Seems good. Got him. All right. Let's do it. Let's finish it. I just <laughs> You're a monster. Fandrew, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You were always my favorite, Fandrew. I never told you, but now you know.
Thought was gonna thought that was gonna be a Rocky theme from when he's <laughs> What's the theme from his it's just survival It's the Eye of the Tiger it's the, Some type of way It's the thrill of some type of way That's when you combine those two songs. Make me feel some type of way. Justin Tussing in 500 miles, that song is so hard to get unstuck. Oh, that's sad. Oh, this hand's good. Well, I would have walked 500 miles and I would have walked 500 miles to me. Just to walk 500 miles in the door. Sometimes I like messing up the words and just singing it real weird so that maybe you guys will be like, these are not the words to that song. Why is he doing this? So next time we can play Power Stone or we can play Polluted Delta or uh, Night Vale Spectre. I think we're going to go Night Vale Spectre. Make me feel some Spectre. -y. This is one of our three creatures. That's pretty cool. These are basically both creatures, right? Why not Power Stone first? Because I can attack first. Because Night Vale Spectre attacks, Matthew Ori. So I want to attack them and get a free card out of it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have six men if we do play this. I mean, I assume they're going to kill it with either a Terminate or a uh, Lightning Bolt-esque effect. This is this is it. Beginning of combat. <sighs> Just dead. Yep, Terminate. Exactly Terminate. That's hilarious. You would have had it anyway? What are you saying right now? Power Stone costs three mana. We can't play that on turn two. Is that what you're saying? Power Stone is not a two mana. I'm going to crack this and just get a land here. We're going to get a hollowed fountain. Power Stone is just worse than Lotus. And Debtor's Nell is actually probably very, very good in this matchup. So I'm going to actually get rid of... I'm going to get rid of these. I don't feel great about it, but... If we hit a land, we're going to play Gideon Jura, not get Gilded Lotus anyway. And I kind of just like cycling this here. Yeah, all right. That seems fine. That's not incredibly impressive. I'll tap down your hallowed fountain. Joke's on you, buddy. I got more where that came from. Yeah, we're definitely going to cycle Decree here, even if it's just for two guys. We just want the card. Two guys and a card is just fine. You got it. What a creepy tar pit.
That's real stupid. That's so dumb, man. Would you like to spend zero? Yeah, of course. I guess I just assume that Magic Online won't... Uh, when I have two mana in my mana pool, it'll just use it. Instead of asking me to click on the two mana that's specifically in my mana pool. What do I know? Clearly the answer is nothing. Heroes Downfall. What do we get here? Oh, I think we just get Obnixilus, actually. Or oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Jace, they, they both get killed by Creeping Tarpet, which is the biggest problem. What if we just get Confiscate and steal the Creeping Tarpet? That's kind of cool. Torrential Gear Hulk, does that do anything? Not really. I think it's just Sphinx's Rev here. Yep. And we have no reason to play this now. We can just wait till next turn and draw more. However, is one card worth not having to do anything? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, all right. It's a monocolor creature. No, it's blue and blue and black, right? Yeah. Wow. Aggressive. Oh, that really is Fury was amazing. Are they just going to fireball me for a million? What's going on here? One, two, three. Yeah, they can just probably kill me. I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Uh, we had um, Garrick in play, and we were supposed to draw 10 off of Ulamog, and they had Leovold. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, we're just dead. Yep, can't, can't beat two man lands, I guess. All right, so Reprisal seems bad. Disfigure seems significantly better. Uh, Crypt Angel doesn't seem great. Pfft. Sarah Angel actually seems good. Like, it's so weird. Take out Supreme Verdict. Do I have any way to deal with artifacts? I almost want, like, Student of Warfare and Longbow Archer in the deck, just for the hell of it. Take out Debtors now. We'll take out Ultimate Price. Bring in Longbow Archers and Student of Warfare. Add another Planes. I'm just going to add a bunch of dirtily creatures.
Kia ora. Yeah, this hand's a little rough, but um We definitely want a blue source here, so probably going to get a blue-white. Probably going to get a hollowed fountain. Seems good. Literally every card is is picked is selectable. I think the Gideon Jura, interesting. I was thinking the Sphinx's Revelation would have been the pick there. All right, we're doing it. It's okay. They don't know we have that second blue yet. Terminate my wall of reverence, sure. Night Veil Spectre. All right, well, this is actually a decent student of Warfare, but they have five cards in hand, and they're going to hit a card off the top of our deck, which is kind of obnoxious. Don't be anything good. Be a basic planes. Caves of Coilos. It's unfortunate because it helps you with black mana for Cruel Ultimatum, and you actually need it. I'm just going to kill my student warfare? Fascinating. Well, now you don't get to play that land at all. In your face. I like the pre-combat mountain and then attack with the Night Veil Spectre. That is a that is one of my more preferable plays. Wow, that's worse. Land one time. That's good. They have two cards in hand. Well, let's see if we can minimize that. One, two, three, four, five, six. They also if they hit a black, they just get the go cruel ultimatum. Presuming they have it. They always have it. That seems fine. Well, they did. It 
So we get to, go, we get to draw three, go up to five if they have Cruel Ultimatum. Easily discard Chainer's Edict. This is going to be the easiest Cruel Ultimatum ever. Grave Titan. Oh, that's pretty good. Now we're going to draw three. Too bad we took the Supreme Verdict out here. If this is a hero's downfall instead. Ha ha. Ha ha. Sad days. God, we don't have anything to get back with the Torrential Gear Hulk, do we? That's pretty sad. I don't think I can actually beat this guy. How can you have a hit Western movie coming soon if it's not even out yet? How can it be a hit? I don't actually know how we beat a Grave Titan. Our deck is not suited to be Grave Titan. Once it makes a bunch of dudes. Oh my god. Well, now it's time to vomit. Yeah, this deck was not good. We we lacked win conditions. Uh, I so I think the problem I'm having right now, if you guys are still if you guys are still watching, my problem right now is that I'm not sure what this cube is capable of doing. So I'm first picking cards like a Talarian Academy, and then I'm realizing that like the artifact deck is kind of thin. Like, there's not a, tre a tremendous amount you can do with the artifact deck. So if you, like, you don't get the exact, like, the perfect pieces for it, it's pretty rough. You mean, maybe I mean Blockbuster or Shut Your Face. Bring Out Mountain is the name of my Shut Your Face Western movie coming out? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, they get another turn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I forgot about the other turn you get. Well, yeah, we're just done. Let's see what we'd have drawn. A Night Vale Spectre. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that was interesting. That was an interesting experiment in this Pro Tour Cube. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, you can check out my Patreon page and my Twitch profile in the description below if you guys are first time watchers. If you're not first time watchers, you can still check it out. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.